What's going on y'all? It's Carolina Shore Fishing back out here. Flounder season just opened up a couple days ago. We went after them this morning, did pretty good. Even caught one first cast and lost that one. You guys saw that. And uh, now we're after some other bigger fish. So hopefully we'll get on those too. Enjoy. The easiest way to learn is use the cheater wheel on the steering wheel. Yeah. And uh, look behind you, look which way it's pointed. Turn to the right, it'll go right. Remember, the tail will swing wide. We started the morning going after some mullet so we could stack up the live well and get after those flatties. And when I throw it, just throw it in reverse. Or neutral, neutral, I'm sorry, neutral. I'm going to get you to throw those in as I catch them. I'll do that. They will not run in the back. Oh yeah, there's a good bit right in front of them. Nice. Right over them. The bait was just way too scattered in the creek, so Captain took us up to a slough, anchored off, and started catching us a lot more bait. We got him really quickly, and so while we were just sitting there, I figured I'd not get some casts in. What you see tied on here is a rattling shrimp. I got these from Mott Custom Rods out here in North Carolina. And you're going to see me tip it with some Menhaden flavored Procure. On the bottoms of these rattling shrimp and even on voodoo shrimp, there's these nice hollow cavities where you can just jam up some of that Procure into. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all, because we had some music playing on the boat, I've got to overlay some of my own music here so I don't get a copyright strike. Right here? Yeah. Ooh, there's fish. First cast fish. Yeah, he's on. That little flounder. The little guy. Oh, no, no. He's starting to put it on the fight. Yeah, he's a little guy. Oh, no, no, net, net, yeah. Big flounder. Big flounder. He wants to try some artificials. I got a ton of artificials. So Captain caught us enough bait and we made a move down to where he wanted to fish by some docks. I initially was throwing a voodoo shrimp like you see here but the current was ripping way too much so I had to make a switch to a Carolina rig with some live bait. How deep you think about? Right uh, it's about there? six or eight feet on the end of the dock there, and it drops off to 25 here. Okay. Well, that current's like ripping right there. Yeah, it's ripping through there. Well, there's probably sheep's hanging around. I still have that flounder on the close. At least that tide's moving that way, that current.
the pogies, yeah, they don't. Can't tell. That that's where I fall short is the live bait. <laughs> For flounder at least. Yeah, I think I do have. I think so. Maybe not. Yeah, he's on there. He's a good size. Oh there we go. Let's keep him. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Hang out a yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Do you care measuring on this cooler um, versus? You can measure on the cooler. I got a strip up front. All right. Right there on the casting deck. Oh yes, a little over 17. That's nice. A little over 17. Yeah, a little over. That blue cooler is full of ice. You want to put them on ice? I'll stuff them in there. Me, that size fish is better anyway. Oh, same. Same. The big doormats are pretty and all. Oh. Had torpedo and then, okay. Yeah, yeah. He didn't like the ice. Yeah. Take Yeah, right over. This guy's still, oh yeah, he's still moving. Blue right there. everything wrong with that guy. <laughs> that was like that meme. Let me send my bait out for the 50th time. He'll be right at 16. Yeah. They're here. Are you hooked up too? Oh. Ah. Another flounder. You're just gonna pop him up? <laughs> <laughs> I had to save you. That's dangerous. Go and Dina. What a save! <laughs> Oh wow, it popped off. Like yeah, they actually caught it. I actually caught it? Yeah. I'm gonna slow that down on the video and see that. Those quick reflexes. Cat light. <laughs> Let's get a pick of that double. Oh no! Oh, you did. All good, all good, all good. For just one simple like on this video, you can help Jonathan and I console with our losses here. Like if you said it, it's, it's, there's something to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Grab him that. It's right here. Make sure you're holding real tight on top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's... Yeah, uh -oh. no, he's definitely... I was going to say, I think he choked it, but now I see the hook sticking up. He 
good? You mean good? Yeah, right. We had enough of the inshore action, we'd all caught our limit of flounder already, so Captain took us off near shore onto some structure where the day prior he had some luck catching some bigger fish. My preferred rig here for fishing deeper waters with live bait is a knocker rig which you see right here and I'll have a video showing you guys these various rigs that I'm using. There you go. Might be a toad. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, probably fine. That's fine. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Well, we're getting down on flounder We are. Yeah, we didn't have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Well, this looks pretty promising. I just need to get it closer to the grass, like right up on it. Yeah. And that'll be money. That's where I always hook them. Right where it starts to just, huh? If if you if it's possible, if it's not too shallow, and we can get tighter to it. That way, we can throw right up on the grass, right where uh, it drops off is where I get all this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that will cut through. Yeah, yeah, that's where like that's those are the little pockets I go and cast and cast and cast. I like watching them swim up. Oh, there's fish. Yep. That's all we can And he choked it too. That's a big shrimp for you to choke, buddy. a little backstory here these guys have been posted up on a little cut through for a while we were on the point watching them and they hadn't moved for a good minute so we decided to move in and as soon as we did they got mad and started trolling through oh you see that red oh you see that red oh he just ripped me off and that was the end of that. That was one of the scariest things that I'd seen. A red shooting out of the grass. You can see its eyes coming right at me. It looked like a freaking torpedo. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was all we ended up with. We each got our limit of flounder. And we were happy with the day. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Go out there and get you guys some flatties while the season's open. Happy fishing everyone.